Hello, welcome to yet another episode at the Talk Office with me, Undrara and Jama, the conversationalist. Today is not like any other day because we are going to be taking a really tough and slopey kind of road, talking about after all I did for you. How many of you have said this at the end of your relationship? How many of you have had to say, after all I did for her, she really still did all this for me? Or the ladies, after all I suffered for him, he had the mind to treat me this way. Well, we are going to be digging deep and finding out why is it that we have this mentality of cashing out from our relationship. Yes, I said cashing out. Some of us feel that every time we go into a relationship, a romantic relationship for that matter, we just have to bring something out of it. That thing could either be money, sex, or the agakwata kwata of them all, marriage. So when that doesn't happen the way we anticipated that it's going to happen, we then feel that we are at a loss. After all we have invested, after all we have done, this person had the mind to give us all this kind of treatment. So why do we feel that way? I'm going to give you two reasons why we have that mentality of after all I have done for him or for her. First thing is that we only give in the relationship because we somehow in our minds are expecting a return from it. Yes, I said it because it is true. You want to go out with a guy, you just feel like, okay, let me do this because I will get something out of it. Or let me do that because I will get something out of it. Some of us, for the guys, for instance, let me do this, let me wow her so that she can spread her legs for me to come in. I said it, I'm sorry. But even the ladies also have their own fair share of doing things just because they want to get something in return. And so when that happens, we tend to want to invest much more than we would get out of it, especially when the anticipated result is not what we eventually get. So how then do we manage this whole confusing situation in a relationship? The truth is, we must definitely give something in a relationship. Because love in itself is all about sharing. I mean, it's all about giving. Even in just friendship, you give things. How much more in a relationship? So let me just give you my rules of thumb. First thing, give only what you are capable of giving. Period. Do not let anyone bend you over, force you choke you or anything into giving much more than you want to give so when you are giving you are giving on your terms if he says to you for instance look this is what i want you to do for me and you know in your heart of hearts that you cannot afford to do it please by all means do not do it because if you end up doing it, it will be you going outside of your limits to do something just to impress him, just to make him feel happy when you know you cannot afford that. So when you have that under check, you know that you're only giving because you have the capacity to give. Then that solves one half of the problem. The other half of the problem that we need to talk about is that when you are giving, never ever expect a return from it. No matter how tough you want to think about it, don't expect a return from it. Let it be an out and out kind of giving. Give because you want to give. Give because you love them, so give them. Give because you know that they need it. Give because never give because you are expecting something in return. Now what that would do is that you are giving without expecting anything. Regardless of what comes back to you in return, you are fine by it. Now, I say this because a lot of times when people come to me and tell me about how their relationships have broken and what they feel because of that broken relationship, what they feel is depression because of how much they have invested. And the only reason you feel that you have invested and not gotten return out of your investment is because when you're investing, you're actually expecting a return, right? The guy did not now marry you. He now left you and married your friend. The lady did not now say yes, you know? They all are founded on when we give much more than we can receive. So rules of thumb, give only what you have the capacity to give. Never allow anybody model you up into giving much more than you can give. Second thing, let your giving be out and out. And let me just say something about giving. A lot of times when we say giving, we only make reference to it to money or stuff like that. But there are lots of things, much more than money, that are given in relationship. And the most important one is actually your time. Your time, your effort, your investment, your everything that you put into a relationship, that can be rounded up as given. So please, by all means, to prevent yourself from saying, after all I did for him, or after all I did for her, she still did this. Please, 
Give only what you have the capacity to give, not much more. And I know that it would be tough for you to do this because somehow our spouses tend to make us feel as if we're not doing enough for them. Ah, you're not caring enough. You're not kind enough. You're not attentive enough. You're not just enough. I know. Yeah, I have a lot of those kind of experiences. But give only enough of what you can give. And don't give too much of yourself. Because when it comes to the end of it and the relationship did not go as planned for everyone, you will look back and some of the things you will regret is when you give much more than you could have given. So I hope this touched you somehow. And of course, this is an open platform. You can always put down your comments, your thoughts on everything that has been said here. This is a cool place, a safe place where you can be yourself and join in on the comment session. Let me hear you speak about everything that you have given and you have regretted. And moving forward, those things that you think that no one should ever give in a relationship. And I'll be glad to reply to all your comments and maybe do a follow-up video on giving. Today, we talked about after all I have done for you. What brings about this discussion when a relationship is no longer as sweet and cuddly and sweet and enjoyable as it used to be. So thank you for staying tuned with me. I am Andrara Njama, the conversationalist and the coach from the talk office. Like I said, this is a safe platform. You can always reach me, slide into the DM or comment session, leave all of your comments, questions, and everything. But if you want a direct conversation with me, please, by all means, send me a mail at thetalkoffice at gmail.com, period. I'm going to get you covered until I come away next time with an even more interesting topic. I know I have shaken a lot of tables today, but don't feel bad. It's all about making the transformation that you need for a better you. Got it? Bye.